Well, uh, my name is Tekanyu Steven. I am a team lead for Kungula Threshit project. Uh, this is my counterpart, Babo Pixel. He's a research assistant. Uh, we have uh, other members who are not here. Samali Nakagwe, she's our organizational and assistant coordinator. And uh, we recently lost a member who was also a research assistant. It was called Bala Ebi. Uh, our project is called uh, Kungula Threshit. Um, the innovation of Kungula seeks to solve inefficient and uh, ineffective threshing processes in the maize harvesting process. Uh, now we hope to we hope to move people from a traditional method where maize was hit by sticks. People use knives to thresh maize to to use over more mechanized processes. We we have a manual thresher that we hope is supposed to improve efficiency and effectiveness, and also a motorized thresher. Uh, as of now, like the, pro, the previous I said, the, the, the thing, the using knives, heating, our machine is going to produce, to produce the, the maize of a higher quality, the seeds will be of a higher quality, we shall reduce on the, on the, on the post-harvest losses because nothing will go away to waste because of the vagaries of weather and poor handling. Well, uh, this particular innovation has a special tick to every member in the group. Uh, looking at uh, Uganda as a country, uh, one of the most, uh, one of the staples is our uh, maize crop. Uh, you see portion of hard in schools, like we all have a background of that daily bread in school. So we wanted to bring in a solution that could uh, focus on a bigger group of people and uh, we settled for maize. Now in maize we thought of handling one of the ways, one of the processes that are at the end to to increase output while not so much focusing on increasing the agricultural production as such. Yes. We hope to maximize but not to ask people to produce more. We want them to capitalize on what they already have. Maybe the challenge is as we go into the field, we understand the uh, expectations of the farmer, are high, uh, expectations are many, and uh, so that could be a challenge. Basically, that we are focusing on a particular crop, but that will be uh, a challenge which will be handled. I expect to handle it. Uh, one of the first achievements we would say is uh, we were able to uh, get funding from the Resilient Africa Network in form of a grant to help us uh, put our product out there on the market. Yes. And then filming this is also an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> well, the answer to that question would also will be very. Uh, we shall be in a better position to answer that question at the end of this uh, because. Uh, the, uh, what this exercise is supposed to bring out is uh, a product that is scalable, a product that is supposed to be used by a large number of group of people. Yeah, so at the end of the, I hope we shall do another video just to tell you that answer. So this one, uh, this is just the beginning. We are going to prototype. Then we shall scale this, this, this and take it to the community. After we've worked on the maze, then we are going to expand this product to taco or other some other crops that can that no also need threshing like like rice like millet. So in three years, I think we shall be there. Uh, the thing is, just if you have a dream, just fight your walk till it is done. <laughs>